Good morning, Hair Feel Guy. Hope you're having a good day. Um, today I'm going to talk about hope. Uh, something that's really important to, well, every human being on the planet. We all need a sense of hope, a sense of optimism. And with all the events that's been going on, yes, it's easy sometimes to feel a little bit despairing. It's easy to watch the news and think, oh God, when's it all going to end? And you can start to lose hope about the whole situation. So hope, biblical hope, is a positive expectation of a good outcome or, or an expectation of salvation in a certain situation. And I think that's very important for all of us um, to be healthy and to have joy and to have peace in our hearts. And often we can put our hope in the wrong things things of the world or men or science or all kinds of things but we as believers should put our hope in God. I quickly want to tell you a story about the um, uh, Chile mine collapse. You probably remember it in 2010. Um, these 33 men that were underground almost half a mile underground and the whole mine collapsed on top of them and um, they were stuck there and the situation seemed absolutely hopeless. Uh, how are they going to get these guys out? They didn't really know where they were in the, in the mine. Um, but what happened there was incredible because these guys um, started to turn to God and started to, to pray. Uh, the world started to pray for them. Um, and yeah, it was incredible, basically a sort of mini revival underground um, and yes yeah, these guys were stuck underground not just for a week not just for two weeks in in total it was almost 10 weeks they were stuck underground and they survived um, incredible but also their spirits survived you know they 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 had an optimism about that that somehow they would be saved they turned to God and they had hope and they had faith. And praise God, all 33 men were saved. And they came up in kind of capsules to the surface. Um, yes, an incredible story. And there's even, even been a book and a movie made about it if you want to read or watch that. How can we have hope? It's, and we can look to the Word of God uh, for that. And uh, the kind of five things that I looked at and I thought, well, this will kind of stir our hope in us. So let's go through them. Uh, we can have hope because God is our saviour. Psalm 42 says, Why, my soul, are you so downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my saviour and my God. See, we can have hope because God is our wonderful saviour and he will save us in every and any situation. Whatever it is, he is mighty to save and we can turn to him and whatever it is and whatever difficulty we are in, whatever financial problem, whatever sickness, whatever it is, we can turn to God as our saviour and that gives us hope. Secondly, we have hope because Jesus rose from the dead we read in 1 peter chapter 1 praise be to the god and father of our lord jesus christ in his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of jesus christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish spoil or fade so praise god when jesus rose from the dead that changed everything we got hope he rose, he died, but he rose. And that means that we could be born again. That means we could have eternal life. That means uh, we could have an inheritance. So we've got great hope because Jesus rose from the dead. We don't have to taste death. He tasted death on our behalf. So that should just give us great hope and reassurance. So thirdly, we have hope because... Jesus lives in us. 
We read in Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. That Jesus lives in us, gives us great hope. We can belong to him. And uh, yes, he's, he's, he's in us, he's living in us. His spirit is in us. Um, and it's a great hope and a knowledge to know whatever he started in us, the work he started in us, he will finish it. And I believe that that finish will be a glorious finish, as this verse says. So that's a wonderful thing uh, to yeah, put our hope in. Fourthly, we have hope because God is faithful. We read in Lamentations chapter 3, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. See, God is so faithful, and he loves us. He really, absolutely loves us. And he is so faithful to us. He can't break his promises to us. And that should give us great hope. He will never let us down. He can't let us down. He's the perfect father and the perfect savior. And lastly, we have hope because God has a plan for our lives. We see in this very famous verse in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So we have hope because God has a plan for our lives. That's fantastic. He has a plan and has a good plan. So that should give us hope. You know, he's not forgotten about us. He hasn't, you know, said, well, well, perhaps the plan's gone wrong. No, he has a plan a good plan, a perfect plan for all, each one of us. And should so that should always give us hope. So church, I hope this message helps you, uh, stirs your faith, stirs the hope inside of you. And I uh, hope you can reflect on some of those verses, reflect on that wonderful story of the Chilean mine uh, rescue. And I, I just want to end with this kind of, kind of prayer saying from Romans may the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit Amen all Right, bless you I pray that you have a good day I hope to see you again soon goodbye